they've got this sweet check that says $4,000 and it's a tax refund. So obviously it's best to spend it on a drift box. That's what I would do probably. But if you're anything like me, you probably want a JDM car. That means when you add JDM and drift, well now the prices are starting to get ridiculous. You get hit with a drift tax or a JDM tax and the cars like Toyota Supra or Nissan S14 are just stupid expensive. Today we'll explore the marketplace and see if we can find anything for $4,000 and see if you can call it a JDM drift car for that amount. And I kindly ask you for your support by subscribing to the channel so that we can explore more car related stuff. Kicking off with my favorite Mazda RX-8. The good old Dorito engine Mazda with a smile of a brat and all the brats that you want. <laughs> Plenty of horsepower. Usually it comes with an LSD. And it's one of the best handling things that you can get for the money. It's just so well calibrated and tuned. But is it worth having in 2024? Or whenever in the future you are watching, traveler? You decide, the answer will be left all to you. Next on the list is an MX-5, but not the first one, the second non-pop-up headlighty generation. Still under the radar of the big prices, you can still get one for under four grand, and they are just great. Lightweight. Lightweight! <laughs> Easy to slide in the rain. If you want, you can take it as a your basic grocery getter. Engine is plenty durable for any tuning, modding, modifying applications. It's good, that's what I'm saying. Just say well-rounded example in my opinion. This time we are going for the Lexus that has a 2JZ in it. A what? A car with a 2JZ for 4K? Yes. But what is a 2JZ you ask? <laughs> Lexus GS300 might not be a looker, but for 4 grand or even less than that in some examples you can get a car with a Toyota Supra engine in it, with the thick rods, and the one that loves turbo. Did I mention turbo? 2J obviously is one of the greatest engines that came out of land of Japan. With the GS300, uh, you get an only automatic option. I don't think there were manual ones, but that's not a problem because you can easily swap it with a Toyota Supra gearbox, or there are conversion kits available so you can get a gearbox from a BMW. Sweet! And now we're gonna go into a little bit older territory. Unreachable to TikTok users. In all honesty, it's good because the cars are not very popular anymore. We can keep the prices lower because they are not enshrouded in a cloud or covered in artificial popularity. So the car is Nissan 200SX, but S12, a vehicle quite similar to Toyota AA86, with kind of similar spec but lost in the shadow of its counterpart, but in mostly forgotten opinion. If you look into the underbody, if you look into the engine bay, you could say they were competitors in the market. They are mostly forgotten, not deserved though. And they have the most important feature known to man, the pop-up headlights. And it's also super tunable, looks great, guaranteed will get you a ton of attention since it's unusual, since it's unique, you don't really see them anymore on the street. And sometimes came out with a turbo even. <laughs> And the last car on the list is a ride that looks like a cassette player that somebody wedged with a hammer. But oh boy, it's is it beautiful once it's done right. A Nissan or a Datsun 280ZX. Car that people forgot about because of its older brother 240Z or a younger one 300ZX. So 280ZX is overshadowed by its brothers, leaving this one a great deal appearing on the market not so seldom. Right now I found one on the Polish marketplace for just a little bit over $4,000. And it's a 2 plus 2 one. You can carry four times the girls you'd normally do. Four times zero, 
still zero. Anyway, that would be it for today. I hope this list will give you some sense of direction. If you like this kind of content, please let me know in the comments. And also, thank you for watching. I'll see you on Friday. Bye. Stop.